Hello, this is Peter Hornberger from Penn State Abington, and I just have a short demonstration of how you can utilize an iPad to uh, annotate and draw on top of PowerPoints, either live in a synchronous Zoom session, or you can do this in a recorded session that you're going to upload for students later. But uh, the only things I'm using is obviously an iPad. I have uh, just a standard iPad with a base on it. I don't have any additional um, software loaded on it. It just has what it came with. So I'm, I'm going to use Keynote, which is the uh, uh, iPad Mac version of PowerPoint. I'm certain you could also download PowerPoint and do the same things uh, that I'm going to demonstrate to you here today. I also have just a, a very um, simple stylus. It's uh, about $12 on Amazon. It doesn't do anything special. It's just uh, a little bit easier than drawing with your finger. And I think the whole purpose of this is this is an interface that is readily accessible to many, uh, but I also feel it is um, uh, far easier and far more comfortable for the lecturer than, than drawing with a mouse uh, in, a, in a whiteboard program or, or any other kind of, of interface that doesn't have this kind of pad and stylus. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to Zoom and show you how to connect Zoom to uh, an iPad device first, and then I'll show you how to bring up Keynote and put those pieces together so that you can annotate live on your PowerPoints. All right, so now we're over in the Zoom software and you're probably fairly familiar with this bottom menu. Uh, the point we're gonna use here is right in the center, the share screen button. And if you click on that, it's gonna bring up a bunch of your windows, including the whiteboard that is embedded in um, in Zoom. It's okay, but again, now you have to draw with your mouse, which I find incredibly uh, challenging to do. Uh, but there is a, embedded in this iPhone iPad integration. And if you do that and click share, um, it will bring up a menu that has some directions for you to connect your iPad to the PC. There was no additional software needed on the iPad side. Although I will say the first time I did this, it asked from Zoom that I do a plug-in. So it was about a 30 second update to the Zoom software to make this happen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to the iPad here and show you what that looks like after I do uh, these three simple steps. Okay, once you jump over to the iPad side, I'm just gonna open up Keynote here and um, I'm gonna actually import a version from PowerPoint causes some challenges uh, largely because of the formatting uh, but basically what I'm going to do is hit cancel and I'm going to open up the PowerPoints that I sent myself I just emailed that to my iPad I do get a little bit of a warning here because um, some some challenges happen largely because I designed my my PowerPoints in the widescreen format and an iPad it is not uh, full widescreen. So there's gonna be, you're gonna notice that there's some uh, adjustments to the, the PowerPoints. Um, this could probably be avoided if you uh, had the Microsoft Office uh, update on the iPad itself. Uh, but once I have that, I can start a presentation and I can move through my presentation as I would any other place. Uh, if I got to a point where I wanted to live annotate, there is a little pen icon at the top. And if I take my uh, stylus and begin to draw directly on the screen, uh, it brings over the content directly. And uh, I just think that there's a, a lots of accuracy uh, that I can do with this far better than I can uh, writing with my finger and, and definitely far better than if I am uh, drawing with the, the mouse. Um, so I can actually see on my screen this demand curve. Um, so again, I'm not an, an uh, economics person, but I'm gonna try to draw in here um, the supply and demand point where they intersect here at about a dollar 25, I'm gonna call that as the price, uh, the market price for a chocolate bar. And what's nice is again, I can I can see these endpoints um, so that I'm not just blindly drawing on um, a, a tablet and hoping that my pen is in the right spot. There, there is um, a, a nice interface with that. I just think that this is um, a, a fairly simple and intuitive option for many faculty and instructors to be able to 
uh, have some live interaction with their PowerPoints in either their synchronous or the recorded lectures. I just think this is a, a nice uh, accessible way for you to enhance some of your teaching. So I hope that helped and um, good luck.